So I thought I would bang off another pipe tobacco review and this one is a pretty unknown tobacco, uh, another one. I like to do tobacco reviews on my channel of course and I also like to um, add in a lot of non-reviewed tobaccos or tobaccos that are underappreciated like just plain aromatics or even just blends that have gone under the radar as well as the more popular blends and the blends that I know that I enjoy. And I know I think there's not you don't get as many hits as you do on those types of tobaccos, but I know there are lots of people out there that still appreciate it, and I do as well when I'm just surfing and looking at reviews and I see someone reviewing something that I always wondered about or never heard of. And today, that tobacco would be Sutlips LRPR, which I got from TobaccoPipes.com, which is a great company uh, in the way that they have a lot of blends, um, especially Sutlip blends, but other ones as well that, that you can only get from there or hard to find stuff. Um, one of the nice things they do is if there's something you're looking for that's from another company, like say Pipes and Cigars, and you can call them up and ask if it request for them to get some. And I did that once with Firestorm, and they got a whole bunch of uh, Firestorm as well as a bunch of other Russ Willett uh, blends as well. So very cool that they did that. So anyway, what is this blend? A cube cut, um, cross cut type, like a lot of their um, OTC match blends. Um, cube cut, straight burly as far as I know, and it is topped with the usual molasses, the less usual rum, but they, uh, the really unusual prune extract, it said. So I thought, well, I'll try it out. I like some of their other uh, blends in that style of ready rub, so I thought I would try it out. And uh, it's pretty, um, it's not like a huge pop in your face aromatic smell or anything like that. I'm getting, mostly what it reminds me of is um, putting your nose in a bag of trail mix, um, you know, nuts and dried fruits, but mostly heavier on the nuts and a little bit of that kind of um, spicery smell, like just a mixed bunch of kind of spices is what it kind of reminds me of. So what does it taste like? Well, first of all, I loaded up my, one of my favorite looking pipes. I just don't smoke it a lot because it's I haven't found the right tobacco that it that burns well in it. I know there are a couple, um, I just can't remember what they are, but uh, also because the stem was unfinished and I finally finished it up. So uh, yeah, it's looking nice. I thought I'd bring it out and uh, show it off a little bit and uh, smoke it. So let's light up, see what we get. So first thing you notice, got that usual um, burly red rub type of flavor. Sweet, almondy, nutty, pretty flavorful. A little bit of brown sugar. Definitely the molasses is the first thing that hits you. The rum is there, but it's, it's barely there. You wouldn't say it just tastes like rum. And the prune. Well, the prune sounds like, a, you'd think sounds like a weird type of topping. But if you think about it, a lot of the a lot of flavors that you get out of tobacco are dark fruits, uh, raisins, dried plum, and prune isn't that far off. It actually is matches the tobacco quite well. So what it basically it does prune kind of, but what it basically does is give you just a dark dried fruit, um, def somewhat like if I could say in overall, it definitely reminds me of even in the smoke as well as the smell as a trail mix type of flavor. Nutty, a uh, little bit of dark fruit, sweet dark fruit, like a nice dried plum, dried apricot. And you get a little bit of that natural kind of cocoa sweetness, molasses from the burley. Quite pleasant. Um, it, flavorful. Um, it'd probably be like on the medium scale when it comes to flavor. You're not, it's not a flavor chaser, but it's not like a punch you in the face or a very harsh tobacco either. Um, nothing really makes it stand out above my favorite in this genre, but definitely nothing that would um, turn me off. So I enjoy it. Who, who else would enjoy it? Someone that likes, you know, that kind of a nice sweet almond, a typical OTC um, cocoa burley or even maybe a little bit of kind of a, a slight cigar note just from the way that dark fruit and the burly mix so um yeah no tongue bite very smooth so i hope you guys enjoyed my review and i'll see you guys in my next one till then aromatics signing out